What's up, HL fam? Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to another vlog. So if you are new to our channel, go ahead and take this opportunity to make sure that you subscribe because we got some really exciting things going on yeah. right now. Yeah. And make sure that you like this video because it's going to be a good one. Mm, so today, today, something crazy is happening today, y'all. We are going on Lon's first doctor's visit. I'm screaming. <laughs> <laughs> you excited? Not a Pre doctor's visit. It's a prenatal visit. <laughs> a prenatal, prenatal visit, visit. yeah. So we're going to the very first one. We kind of know what to expect. They kind of talk to us about what to expect or whatever. We do. But we kind of don't. Right. We kind of don't, don't all at the same time. Like they said, they're going to give me like an exam, but... It's like a regular exam. But they're also going to... I also got to get blood work, but I'm not getting the blood work done there. Is this normal? I mean, well, y'all let me know. I ain't never been pregnant before, so y'all let me know. Yep, and you better never be pregnant again. <laughs> so y'all let me know how this goes. So we're going to the doctor's office today. I think they're going to send us to like LabCorp to get blood work done. And then they're also going to send us to an ultrasound person to get an ultrasound done. I don't know if either of those are actually today. So is that typical? Like, do you typically go to the doctor's office that has everything in one or do they send you to different places so you need everything at one That's i know i would have preferred everything in one yeah why don't you just call someone else so we do have two appointments so again never been pregnant before um my old OBGYN is in new jersey and then when we were living in baltimore my old OBGYN here she was crazy so i would i wouldn't have wanted her she to go knew what she was doing though she did i mean i liked it she was cool but i wouldn't have wanted her to deliver my child i also wanted to um have our baby at a specific hospital so i had to look up doctors who um worked with that hospital or whatever but yeah y'all let us know but um yes yeah, so i don't know what's going on today i think they're just going to try to get us. as much footage as possible um mm -hmm. most places don't let you record but i'm gonna try to get right but we don't want to hear that like even if i gotta get on the phone i'll finesse it on the, yeah i don't know what they be the doing phone, like how you gonna tell me i can't record my baby we recording stuff for y'all, HL fam. Don't even worry. Yeah, but we gonna figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, so we gotta go though. I know. Because we're already late. All right, let's go. I don't know what all that stuff is. I don't. Know. What did you just have to do? on your hands, didn't you? No. <laughs> you excited? I'm nervous. I don't know why That's I'm That's ultrasound gel. I know. I don't know why I should Yeah, because they're going to get an ultrasound today. They're going to see what's going in there. Uh -uh. A little poppy seed. Uh -uh. It's a sesame seed now. <laughs> Isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. You also need to know that some people have a blood type that requires um, a little special care. So do you know your blood type? I don't. Okay. Did you ever donate blood? No. What a bad citizen, right? What a bad <laughs> citizen. Okay. And not in the military because they all know the blood type. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is one of the um, blood tests mm -hmm. that you'll have done. Okay. Um, because if you're what we call RH negative, mm -hmm. so whatever letter you are negative, which is uncommon, mm -hmm. like 12% African American, 50% eight you know, Caucasian have negative. Everybody else is positive. Mm -hmm. But if you have negative and you have any bleeding in the pregnancy, which can happen naturally between mm -hmm. six and eight weeks, mm -hmm. by the way, because the placenta implants, implantational bleeding. If you had that you need a shot. Mm -hmm. And that could happen before I see you again. So I would say go to get your shot. Mm -hmm. Since you don't know, then I'm gonna assume that you have a problem, you have that problem, but you don't want to assume someone doesn't, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to assume that you are negative, mm -hmm. so I would say, and I would say now, 
Now that we've established care, you're my patient, you would go to labor and delivery if you have any bleeding, mm -hmm. and they'll do a stat blood test to see your blood type, okay. even if you had it drawn already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if it's negative, you'll get that shot called Rogam to prevent any kind of interaction between you and All right, so update, right? So we just left the doctor's appointment. She did, um, what did she do? She did a vaginal check with her fingers or whatever. And what else did she do? I don't know, she did a lot of different exams, right? So she checked me with her fingers to make sure that the baby wasn't growing in my fallopian tubes. And I was just sitting there the whole time like, is Ken, does Henry know what all this means? Like, is he catching up? Look at him doing work. So. So yeah, so the baby is not, or she at least she does not think that the baby is growing in my fallopian tubes. Um, because we go to Italy on Sunday, she wants us to definitely go and get our first ultrasound today. The reason being is because, um, God forbid, anything was wrong with the pregnancy, she would kind of want to satisfy that if she could before we leave um on sunday or just basically just for us to all know what we up against basically she was saying that we don't want to be out of the country and experience anything and not have a way to contact her or just be i don't know it's just a mess so right now i'm about to go get some blood work done and i'm about to go um then we got our ultrasound appointment for 2 30 but it's so crazy because so i'm supposed to today i'm actually supposed to go to work i was only supposed to be Girl, in me too i know henry I too I was supposed to go in for a half day, but with all this is going on now, I had to tell my boss that I'm pregnant, which is just like so. I had already weird. told my boss because I knew it was going to come to this type of situation. I didn't Especially know. The way I don't, I don't want nobody questioning what I'm doing, where right, I'm at. So right. My boss is going to leave with everything. Right. So I just got to put in, got put in time. Glad I got time to use. Right. So they're going to do a regular ultrasound and a transvaginal ultrasound, and then. Yeah, y'all, it's going down. We gonna go see our baby it's and scary. hear our baby. It is it is very scary. When they start talking to you in all those my stomach, terms. My stomach hurts. I, just, I don't wanna get this day over with. <laughs> when they start talking to you in all those terms and stuff like that, it started to get real, real, real but fast. But bleeding the blood of Jesus. Hello, hello. Woo! So yeah. Let me start. <laughs> all right, so let me put this camera down. I'm gonna go get this blood work done and then we out. But we'll check back in. I feel like my face look different. Don't my face look different? This is just for like dating, correct? I'm sorry, you said dating? Dating, of yes. yes. And confirmation. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And you don't have any previous with us. Did you have a pelvic done before somewhere else? Any sort of fibroids or anything? No, ma'am. Okay. And you're also right on that line of where we can see the heart. Or not. Yeah, see the So, as long as you know that yeah. too, that it doesn't. Yeah. What they want to do is they have you come back in a week. Mm -hmm. um, go from blood work and mm -hmm. come back in Okay. That's already tiny as can be, yeah. so yeah. Wow. Is that it? Yep. <laughs> That's the sac. That's your gestational sac. Right. That's so, good, right? Yes, yes, you need that. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is I'm probably, you know, not going to be able to see the fetal pole right. this way.
But I guess my question is, so, one, we wanted to see the sack, right? We wanted to make sure there was a sack. That's what, yeah. Yes, your station sack, um, even a fetal pole. Um, we can see a fetal pole and maybe a flicker, but I can't, maybe I can't keep it on to get an accurate heart rate. There's a couple different reasons why you have to come back and just, you know, it's a little bit. All right, guys, so after that appointment that you just saw, uh, this is all that we were able to see on the ultrasound, just the yolk sac. Um, so that's all that we saw at that five um, and a half weeks appointment. So at eight weeks, this is what the baby looked like. This is when we actually saw the baby. We didn't vlog this one, um, but this is when we actually saw the baby. The baby had a heartbeat and we confirmed, you know, that everything was okay. The baby was healthy. Um, and then it went from that at eight weeks all the way to this at 12 weeks. So that is like the baby's probably definitely bigger now since I'm going on 15 weeks. But um, that's what the baby looks like right now. So we will see you guys in our next video. Say peace. Say bye baby hunt. <laughs>